right on but sounds like him actually yeah. all it, right Matthew can I say right on too I think right I just know well, he does, I mean he just says all right all right yeah. so yeah maybe he just says right I'm sure he says right on at some point in his life <laughs> um turn that monitor barely down just like a hair yes yeah, sir um dang dude what <clears throat> is this week 17 week yeah I believe so I'm trying to think when I put them today. I'm pretty sure I put 16. So yeah, I think it's 17. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Man, it's what like, it? I don't know. It's just surreal. It's just like, I don't know. It seems like a lot, but it also seems like we've done more than that. <laughs> in my opinion. I guess that's true too. But I don't know. We feel like professionals. We're professionals. We know yeah. what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We always... We're getting there. Our head game is always different. That's what I've noticed. What do you mean? Like <laughs> our head to tire, like our, oh, like yeah. especially for me. One, my hair was like really short when we first started this. Now it's pretty long, so I'm like trying to figure out what to do with it because I never really had long hair. Uh-huh. And then I'll have a bandana or my visor, a regular old baseball cap, or have it backwards. Mm-hmm. You'll have your hair, and you'll have like right now it's difference is like flowing down. Oh, and was it last week? I thought it looked really good in the hat, and you had a different, but in a different hat, and it looked different. I think that was two weeks ago. <sighs> I think last time I wasn't wearing anything, but it's whatever. Oh, dang, you're a naked head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, not naked. I got quite a bit of hair on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lady at the food store today actually say that she liked my curls. She said, I love your curls. And I mm-hmm. said, Thank you so much. Mine's like, if I'm not wearing a hat at work, because sometimes I wear a hat and I take it off, and then my hair just like, <laughs> and it kind of looks like the purple minion, and it's like <laughs> all like this. Yeah, I was like, like shit. <laughs> But uh, it just gets all up in my face and stuff, so that's why sometimes I wear a bandana. Yeah. Stephen said I'm tapping into my heritage, my Hispanic, Hispanic heritage. heritage. Oh, that's that in there. I thought I had an echo going on. It's just whatever's going on in the living room over there. Um, what they doing? <laughs> this is like week three when Jesse has a friend over, Savannah. Yeah, I know. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, man. And she is. She's going back to college like the next week or this yeah. week. We put her on that podcast last week, though. Yes, sir. Hmm? And she said, like, oh, I don't listen to y'all's podcast and all this. And like, oh, yeah. We're like, showed her some of the reels. And she's like, I didn't even start listening What's to y'all's podcast. She said she did. She said she listened to the one with Dan and then the one uh, after youth camp. She said it was kind of neat. She said the audio was kind of bad on the one with Daniel. She said, but, but you already said that. Like, yeah, we say it, I think, in the in the. <laughs> video but <clears throat> it's true but she said it was kind of neat because like she didn't really know a lot about him so it's kind of yeah so it's kind of cool and i was like hey you know that's what we do it's a public uh service yeah it's educational educational it often. also i feel <laughs> i don't know normally like we're talking and like look at the time and it's like 13 minutes i'm like dang it's already 13 minutes right now i feel like it's already been like 10 or 11 it's been it's only been three it's only been yeah four yeah my mom told me she listened to the last one, and she said she likes, I think she said she liked it, like the heck no section. <laughs> She's like, yo, use that heck no button a lot today. <laughs> like, we used a lot of buttons last <laughs> last episode. I thought it was funny. Yeah, I think because of, I don't know if it's because of the podcast, but I feel like I've been hearing it more often. Like, after youth camp, like it was some, but like now just like around, I hear people go, heck no. Nah. I'm just wondering <laughs> if it's because we played a lot too. Yeah, 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 definitely yeah. our influence, no doubt. We're, we're influencing. Who needs Caleb and Maya? When you have Caleb and I on the podcast every day. Yeah. Well, I can't say hate on that, but I'd like to. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think my favorite segment for me on the... Oh, gosh, dang. Was uh, the darn. Darn. The darn jokes. That was funny. Did you get your okay with your mom? Tell the story. I forgot to ask. Dang, bro. Darn. Darn. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it next week, man. It's funny because she didn't even... She didn't even say that because she was talking about the podcast and she didn't uh, even ask. Like, hey, she probably like story? goes like every like three minutes of the podcast and listens to thirty seconds. That way she can <laughs> act like she knows this stuff. That or maybe she 
she wasn't going to bring it up because she doesn't want me to tell it. It could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, man, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to Colorado Saturday through Tuesday. <clears throat> so I'll be back Tuesday. We normally do our podcast on Monday nights and then we post them on Mondays. Mm-hmm. For the viewers, they'll probably still hear it the next Monday. Mm-hmm. But for us, we got the pod on like Wednesday or Thursday. I guess there's no good movies coming out Thursday, is there? Man, I'm pretty sure September's dry. Dry. We're still in August, actually. I'm pretty sure August and September are both dry. Like, September is getting like a lot of re releases. Like, Spider-Man? Jaws. Yeah, Spider Man, Jaws, and like Avatar are all being re released. Mm hmm. So, that's yeah, cool. When does the new Avatar come out then? December. That'd be kind of cool. Like, you watch it and watch it in the new one. Like two months after, yeah. I've never seen Avatar, so I'm planning on going. I mean, I wa- you ha- are planning. Yeah, I'm planning on going to the theaters <coughs> to watch it, bro. What? Why you? Why you yell at me? <laughs> <laughs> you not love God? What about? What, where's God? What does God have to do? With where is? Where is God? No, is I mean, where did that come that from? Omnipresent, bro. He's everywhere. I, I know. Amen. Yeah, I'm just saying. I ain't see you at church last night. I heard, oh. I heard through the grapevine, aka your brother Bradley, uh-huh. that you were watching a movie about aliens called ET or some crap. Well, you know Bradley's a pathological liar. Ah, uh, yeah. Then <laughs> where were you? Get the eyes of you at church. Oh, I went to go see ET last night. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. that on my thing. And I went and saw it. They really released it in IMAX. Yeah. And Boomer invited me. It's the first time Kelly's gotten out of the house since. Yeah, that's what Bradley was saying. Since he's broke his wrist and had a baby, they're like, "You need to get Kelly out of the house and go do something." So I was yeah. like, "That sounds fun." I don't yeah. dislike ET. I actually liked it more this time than I've ever liked it before. I think. Yeah, but what about God? I was at church yesterday morning. But do you dislike God? Bro. I heard through the grapevine uh, that last night's sermon was kind of garbage. <laughs> 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 Uh, (laughs) you know that's what I heard I was tired yesterday anyway (laughs) so I choose not to comment Uh, I feel like you know you know he uh, is I heard it was I love God (laughs) I'm saying I heard that last that lesson last night was not it Who'd you hear that from? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Bradley. Get him in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna get him in trouble. Whoever it is. Oh man. Oh snap. Yeah. So Nick went with Jared you too. Tell. <laughs> Do it. Because if Jared listens to this, he'll tell. Oh snap. He'll probably tell, he'll tell next time he, he teaches in front of the church. Yeah. So, so I'm not gonna tell who I heard it from. But it was someone yes, that was there. Huh? It was someone that was there though. Yeah. It was uh, not a lot of people. Yesterday morning, I was tired. Mm-hmm. I almost fell asleep. But <clears throat> did you see? Did you see when a, a kid threw some trash mm-hmm. across the thing? Yeah. Like two minutes later, another guy walked <laughs> all the way around. I'm not gonna mention any names. Grabbed the trash, like... went to the parent of the kid and said, uh, or went and gave it back to the kid and said, oh, "I think you dropped something." <laughs> yeah, and he like threw it though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw like, that. He, I that was kind of funny. Yeah. Which I mean, you don't need to be throwing stuff in church, but. Unless his hands up in the air. Praise the Lord, amen. 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 What were you saying, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the sermon is about, was about Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was done at a, a good good and well heart, I feel like, for both sides. But, yeah. I'm not going to comment too much about it. Because yeah, I don't, don't want to be throwing shade to anybody. Yeah, so. that's kind of funny. <clears throat> it's funny because Nick went with us last night, too. And he didn't want to mm-hmm. watch E.T., He's like, so I think I'm gonna drop you off at the, I'm gonna drop you off at the theater. He's like, I'm gonna go visit my grandpa in the hospital, <laughs> and he's like, you know what? I'm not actually because it's Sunday night. He's like, <laughs> my grandpa would get on. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about seeing my grandpa, my mom, my dad, and my aunt Yola next week because because I'm getting a tattoo. Oh, you are? Yeah. There you go. Like for real, I'm about to get one. Wednesday night after church. So, I don't know. I'm like, the thing is, so, I mean, it's going to be a lymphoma ribbon. So, mm-hmm. the good thing is, they can't get too mad at me. Because they'll be like, you go through cancer? No. All right. I'm going to get this. But, uh, and it's, I want it small. But, like, I was signing up for it. 
She couldn't get me in on Thursday, and she's like, I can do 8 o'clock Wednesday. This Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. So this will be out. So this girl you'll have at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm saying it, because I was like, I'm telling the whole world while I'm telling you, but really I'm telling you first. Yeah. Savannah doesn't know. I don't really care if she knows. I don't really <laughs> want her to know. But Elena Elena knows, and Adrian, and Jesse. Gosh, you. So, Adrian, because you try to hit him up for like, references. Yeah. Like, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's like the only brother I can probably really talk to that about. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah. So then I'm going to leave church like 15 minutes early. I going to do the intermission part. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, man, where's I going with this? You're getting a tattoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so finally she's like, yeah, well, we do $50 um, deposit before you do the tattoo. So I, need, so I had to pay out right then. And the tattoo itself cost fifty dollars, so I'll, I just had to pay fifty dollars. And that's it. Yeah, although I'm gonna pay for the cream that numbs your area where you're gonna get a tattoo because it yeah. said the wrist kind of hurts. And honestly, I don't really feel like going through a lot of pain. Yeah, <clears throat> you did but, that through the cancer. So yeah, yeah right. I'm like, I'm kind of <laughs> done with this. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on this arm because this is where my pick line was. I had for like six months. But uh, so I paid it. I think last night or something. And uh, and then I sat there and was on the couch and I was like, dang. I'm actually getting a tattoo. Because now I'm like, now I'm kind of scared and like kind of regretful, but like I still want to do it, you know, like like second thoughts almost. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, well, I already paid for it, so I, I guess I have to. So I'm a little nervous because um, it's something you're going to have for the rest of your life. That's why I do feel like when you need to get a tattoo, you need to really think about it and make sure it's something that you want to remember, like something that means something to you, you know. So, mm-hmm. and I feel like that will, obviously. So hopefully I feel like it's justified to me at least. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter what other people think. You, so. you can find someone to go get something with you? Huh? You didn't find anyone to go get something with you? If you want to go, bro. No, no, no. Uh-huh. No. Like Jessie? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, she's Well, like she did, but she didn't really know what she wanted. And then she's like, well, I could do a ribbon too, but I'm going to do like just a black ribbon. And it's like, well, you can, but like each ribbon, the colors mean something different. Yeah. The black ribbon means death. Oh. Like someone died or grief. And I was like, grief could make sense because it was a grieving time. It was really mm-hmm. hard. So I'm like, but most of the time, black means death. She was like, well, maybe I can do like an outline, not really like a filled in color. I was like, maybe. I don't know. But like, lavender means all cancers in general. And then you have green, and then mine's lime green. So mm-hmm. I had to make sure when they give me a tattoo that it's a lime green. And even lime green means, it means lymphoma, and it means something else, like not cancer or something else, I don't know what it was, so it's pretty cool. I think the other cool one is like, there's an autism one, mm-hmm. it's a ribbon, but it's like a puzzle, it's a it's a ribbon, and a, but it's filled in with a puzzle, it's really cool. Hmm. Yeah, I think it'd be a cool one to get, but probably not going to get that. It's also only <laughs> really... you don't have autism? No, well, yeah, but I mean like... If I had someone in my family, or, oh, yeah. like I feel like, I mean, there's a lot of people that have autism that I love a lot. Yeah. So I feel like it would be kind of meaningful, but I feel like I don't know them personally enough yeah. to really feel like it was justified. And I mean, I really don't want a whole lot of tattoos. I think I just want one. Yeah. Like we have always said, maybe you want to say JL, <clears throat> voice crack, JL, yeah. but I also feel like I may not ever get that. So. Yeah. It's funny because last night at. When we were eating, I was talking to Kelly, and I was like, so you decided you're going to get more tattoos? Because when he had his get one, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get more. Yeah. He said he decided against it, and he's like, why are you thinking about getting one? I was like, no, 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 I was just <laughs> wondering. Because I just like, I saw his tattoo, and I remembered that. But then I told him the story. I was like, Ryan Ryan wanted me to get a tattoo with him. So I guess Ryan decided to get against it, and then here you are tonight telling me to get one. Because <laughs> I was like, I feel like that was like late last year when you asked me. No, that was uh, or early this year. <clears throat> I think it was Jay's wedding. Cause we were in the Lyle's barn. Cause I was I was pretty serious about it then. I think I was like, you know what? I've been in enough like through remission. Mm-hmm. Like it was like six months. I'm like, I think it's fine to go in and get it. So, cause it was Christmas when I first started talking about it, and then Jay's wedding, which is like January or February, and that's when I was like, oh, you should go with me. And you're like, ah, oh, you know, I don't really have anything I necessarily right. really really want. So and I was like, all right, man. Like I respect it. We should get one, but I respect it. Maybe. Maybe we need to get those tatted on us. <laughs> those little portraits of ourselves. It's like me getting a tattoo that says Mr. RG. <laughs> well, no, you'll get me and I'll get you. <laughs> I'm not getting your face <laughs> on me. <laughs> you're real. Fine, Be that way. Bro, my skin color won't even match your skin tone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would look different. But it's all right. 
it would be like, funny like the outline is like say like if I did mine and like the outline's my face and it would just be the same skin tone as me yeah. color. I feel like if I was to get something it'd be like the Andrew Garfield spider yeah from Spider-Man just did man and then if I liked it and wanted to get another one I'd probably get the Tobey Maguire spider because that looks cooler than Tom Holland's yeah. and then eventually get Tom Holland's might even throw the Miles Morales spider in there before Tom Holland's <laughs> dang throw shade to you boy I mean Tom Holland's spider is like it's not like <clears throat> Super cool looking. Yeah. The new one was, like yeah. at the end of the movie, when he had that new suit. That was a cool spider. Matter of fact, I te- you know, your cousin, Lauren. Mm-hmm. We, Jesse actually texted her and asked her to send a picture of hers. Because that's mm-hmm. pretty much exactly what I'm doing. Hers is on this side of her wrist. Mine's going to be on this side. Mm-hmm. But, and mine's going to be like, I guess, more professionally done. Because hers was professionally done, but she said that her dad actually drew it. And oh, then they, okay. like, copied it. So it was, it was really sweet. Um, my handwriting's bad, so I'm not going to draw it. <laughs> so, But, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's going to be small. It'll be nice. Something different for me. Yeah. And I'm going to have to get used to it. Because I feel like I'm going to be like, I don't know, like, when you get a tattoo, I feel like you need to make sure it's meaningful and you shouldn't just get it because you feel like it's going to be cool. But, like, deep down, I feel like if you get a tattoo, you're like, eh, I think it would be kind of cool. Yeah. Because, I mean, deep down, that's how I feel. Yeah, but I do. I don't like. Eh, it'd be meaningful. It'd be like, because when I was bald and I had a pick line, people would talk to me and ask, you know, what's up. Mm-hmm. If I have a ribbon, because now now I have hair, you would never know I had cancer. Mm-hmm. So I feel like no one would really ask about like the story I have or whatever. So I feel like I have a ribbon. Um, they might not know I had cancer, but at least they'll say something because they'd be like, oh, do you know someone that had cancer? And I'm like, oh, it's me. Or they'd be like, oh, did you? And then, you know, I can share, witness, or whatever. Yeah. So, it'd be kind of like cool. The, the Skylar slogan. Yes. Tell your story. Tell your story. That's what he always It says. really is his slogan. That's actually he kind of always me. says that. Yeah. Just tell your story. That's what he always says. Yeah. Well, I should have got another bottle of water. That's good. We're 17 minutes into it now. Yes, sir. Talking about tattoos. My mother is officially not a listener. <laughs> yeah, for real. I know, so I need to tell my mom. I think I'm going to tell her when we get a tattoo. And she'll be like, oh, like, kind of disappointing. But I know my mom, how she feels, she's always like, you know, you can get it if you want. Like, I don't really want you to, but you can do what you want. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to text her and go, oh, okay, if that's what you want to do, what's it going to be? I'll be like, I think I'm going to put, let's go Brandon on my wrist. Oh, okay. <laughs> See how she reacts. And then she's going to be like, she's going to say, okay, or she's going to be like, nah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like a mix of both. No. That's not the Christian thing to do, Ryan. <laughs> but it'd be funny. And then your dad, you going to tell your dad? I think my dad's just going to have to say it one day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to text my dad. Because he's going to either say, that butt. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah, he's like, okay, buddy, or 10-4, or just not anything. And not talk to me for a long time. <laughs> so I think I'm, not, I'm just not going to say anything. I think he's just, I feel like he's going to be like just more mad and not really want to talk to me as much. And then I feel like my Yola, she's just going to give me a very, very hard time. She's like, boy, why'd you do that? Why'd you going to get skin cancer because of that? <laughs> you already got two skin cancer. <laughs> and you're going to put a skin cancer when I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I was doing research, though, because I remember when I first got cancer, it was saying, like, them phone me, like, there's a chance you can get other cancers when you get older. It's like, dang, that's a... Then I started reading about it again. It's, like, started depressing me because it's like, yeah. it's a higher chance for any other cancer, it's lymphoma. That you can get other cancers, like this or this. And one of them is skin cancer, actually. Mm. But I was like, dang, that would suck. That's why you just got to go back, I guess. Mm-hmm. Go back for visits and stuff. visits and stuff, yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling healthy as a horse. <laughs> healthy as a horse. Is that a saying? Or horse is healthy? Well, I know, like, say, I'm paying like a racer horse or something. Panting like a race horse? Paying. Oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. So they don't say pain. I also heard like a goat, too. Peeing like a goat. Huh. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> we don't know phrases, man. That's what it's like living in the country. You never know. It's going to come out of someone's mouth. Here are we, here are we. But, yeah, the the, the tattoo thing, that was what I was going to mention for my breaking, right, local, local news. Local news. Yeah. My local news. I went to the dentist last week. Oh, yeah. It's not near as cool I as I meant to text tattoo, you. I, yeah. I don't think I texted you, though. No, I don't think so. Sorry. It's all right, though. I'm still here. <sighs> Sadly. Yeah, I know. There's three teeth up there. 
They drilled into me. I See, I told you. I said they go <laughs> take it out and then and put new stuff in. Feeling. I don't know what they did, but it was. I don't know. I just I'm guessing they numbed you. Yeah, I was really numb. Although you probably felt like a whole lot of pressure. Yeah, you feel pressure. I was like so swollen. I like walked into work, and he's like, "There, Steve," and I was like, "Uh huh." <laughs> like the all mouth swollen. <clears throat> the thing is, he asked me. He's like, "Well," he's like, "You need a." You want to go home for a couple hours and come back after lunch or something? And I was like, no, nah, I got this. As long as I can talk, you know, I can do this. And then, like, as soon as the, the numb wore off, though, dude, it hurt so bad. <laughs> I was like, I did not know that. Was, was it getting... your bottom teeth or top? There's one, I think there was one up top and two on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. I have a weird theory about teeth pulling. Bottom pulling. teeth. It was or filling. Well, anything. <laughs> anything with your teeth, especially pulling, though. Um, I feel like anything on the top. The pain goes away fast because I feel like the gravity pushes pain down. So it just goes away. But if it's on the bottom, it pushes it down and it just stays there. It doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense. The bottom is always worse. I don't know. All I know is I had to pop on the leaf. Bro, I'm a dentist. Sorry. No. You're Dennis's great grandson. Or grandson. I'm also a dentist's nephew. My, My grandpa's an oral surgeon and my uncle is a dentist. Well, anyways, in a couple of weeks, I'm supposed to go back and get the other three on this side. <laughs> and I was like, I'm probably going to take him up if he asked me to go home. But now that I've already done it, he probably won't. He'll be like, ah, oh, he was fine last time. <laughs> you just tell him before, but hey, Ricky, I'm going to do this again. Yeah. It's going to suck last time. So, yeah, I'm probably going to take you up on that going home, coming out after lunch or whatever. Yeah, I didn't like it. I hate the dinner so much. Me too. And I'm pretty sure I need to go, especially for a cleaning. My teeth are getting nasty, but uh, just I gotta take off work for that. I know, I hate that. You know that's the main reason. Yeah. I was like, ah, I gotta take off work for that though. Nah. Gotta work, man. Gotta work. Yeah. (laughs) It's like if I ain't working, how am I gonna have the money to go to the dentist? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you heard, you heard. My insurance don't cover dental; it's just cancer. (laughs) Ain't for real. (laughs) I'm pretty sure. Well, I know it's not vision. That's for dang sure. Yeah. I had to pay for that vision visit. So, that sucked. Um, yeah. Other local news is that... News, local news. I got to see Kelly's baby. I you know. Went over there with Nick the river. and Cole and Josh. You said Nick and Cole? Nick and Cole. And Josh. And Josh. Nice. So, I saw the other swoops that same day. Yeah. As they were singing in Golden. That producing fire. some fire they put a new song uh, a new song it was pretty fire they said they haven't even recorded it yet man yeah I don't even remember what it was but it was it was fire it was yeah. like a slower song they said but and then and Kelly wasn't there to perform it for the first time <laughs> come hey on man. come on Where is it? Where you is break it? your wrist man you know yeah I don't know He's... <laughs> I don't know Anyways, Boomer is playing the trumpet, and it sounds so good. The only bad thing is the line started like rather right up very front, so it's like super loud mm-hmm. when you're in line. But it's still, just he's a he's a great musician. 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 Yeah, he is. Um, I don't have any other local news. All right, what about a work story? I do. You do. All right. Thank you. That's a good uh, <laughs> uh, merging thing for me so I can get to my stuff. Um, one, it rained like twice last week, and I got Praise soaked. God. Huh? Praise God. Yeah, for you, if you're inside a feet store. I just mean in general. It's no. dry as heck out here. Yeah, that's true. I was in the inside, but I like to go outside and tack the wire to Dawson because the outside did takes longer. Mm-hmm. Um just coming down down from the house and just hitting from the me firmament. from the firmament firmament and Crazy it was it. just like hitting my hat drenching my hat drenching me bro I was a whole nother color mm-hmm. my clothes were just psst, soaked mm-hmm. sucked and then the next day pretty much I had to do it again thankfully it stopped earlier in the day so it was nice yeah it sucked other work story it's today Oh, today. Yeah, so there's this 90-year-old lady, right? Story. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> it must have been an old lady last time. 
Huh? There was an old lady last time. Well, I'm just saying these, yeah, no, these I old. Know. Oh, I know. Old old women. You know, it's, <laughs> what? It's a song. I don't know what that was. It's a song. It's called "Older Women Make Beautiful Lovers." It's a weird. Older song. women. Older. Older women. Yes, make beautiful lovers. Mm. It's, it's a weird song. Yeah, I'm, I'm passing. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you gotta find it in my older woman. <laughs> Put that on the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> you should. That'd be funny. Oh. It's a country song, I think. Anyway, yes. so this ninety-year-old lady. Um, so she had phone and, you know, most normal phones, you have one plug up and the other ones like are wirelessly okay. satellite phone. Well, she's like, I have, a, I have a rotary phone. Um, I was like, yes, ma'am. She's like, oh, you probably don't even know what that is. Like, one. Is a rotary phone? Yeah. Do you know what a rotary phone is? No. I thought a rotisserie chicken when he said <laughs> 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 okay. Um, I guess I'll explain it. Um, so, I mean, I'm probably not going to explain it completely right. One, the first fact is it plugs in just to a phone line, to a phone jack. Mm-hmm. No power. It literally is powered through the, to the uh, DSL line. Okay. Um, and I believe an actual rotary phone is the one that actually... Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's yeah. cool. That or... It's just the one Something that like just hangs one. on the wall, and it hangs, and when it hangs, it pulls the thing down, mm-hmm. the handle, and that's how it hangs up. You lift it up, then you can dial. Got you. So, it's kind of both ways, I think. I ex- explained it right. But yeah, so she's like, you probably know what that is. One, I'm like, I- I've seen plenty mm-hmm. of different type of phones. Two, this is my job. Yeah. So, I'm going to see it everywhere, especially in, like, equipment. Um, and then... She was making a cup of coffee. She's like, I gotta get my cup of coffee. I gotta drink my coffee. You probably don't even drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you, how young do you think I am? Like, I know a lot of kids are even younger than me drinking coffee. Like, oh, it's, yeah. coffee is way more popular now than it was then. Mm-hmm. So, and then um, I was also gonna put this fact in there that, well, one, she was talking my ear off about her whole life, everything. Mm-hmm. What, it was kind of they weird. do that. What, yeah. She was like, yeah, I lost my... It's like, first thing she said, like, I lost my husband this year and my son. It's like, dang. Depressing. Right? Yeah, I was like, that. but like, what do you say? I'm like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, dang, her son. My mom's like, she's 90, so her son's like at least 70. Yeah. Old enough. You, well, mm, average mm-hmm. uh, age of death. And then yeah. a little bit later, she's like, yeah, my husband died in 2010. It was 2010. Hold up. Like 12 years ago. Hold up. And then a little bit later, she said, yeah, my husband died last May. I said, how many, oh, oh. How many husbands do you have? I, like, I don't know. She's confused. She's me. confused. I, I don't know. So I was like, you know, I'm just not going to ask her. But yeah, the other fact I was going to add about her was, it's pretty impressive, but she was saying that she mows her yard and weed eats her yard and stuff. And like she ain't got no walker or nothing. Like, yeah. oh. Pretty impressive. That's right. gonna be you one day though. When a, there's gonna be some kids on a podcast. Like, this old guy showed me his tattoo and went on and on about his cancer, dude. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, like, I wasn't even talking to that guy, and he's just like, "You see my tattoo?" It's like, bro, they give you pills oh, now, it gets rid of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Has a whole yeah, tattoo about it. <laughs> uh, what a wuss! Yeah, and he's got this other tattoo on his arm. Is like some guy with like long shaggy hair and glasses. Please, if I'm that, if I'm that old man <laughs> with the shaggy hair. Guy glasses tattoo. Just cut that arm off. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is my work stories. I, I mean, assaults. There's another story I could say, but I'm just not going to because it's kind of gross, and I just don't want to talk about it. At least on the podcast. All right, that's <laughs> fine. That's fair. Okay. I had a we had a guy come in the other day, and he brought us two peas, like pods of peas. <laughs> And one was like long And one was kind of short He brought you a two piece Yeah And he's like uh, He just like slams him on the counter Shoulders on the counter Yeah Like He looks like he's like He's mad And he's like What are these? So Ricky's there He's like Them's peas (laughs) (laughs) Idiot Yeah He's like like, Yeah but what are they? He's like I bought purple holes And these aren't purple hole peas And Ricky kind of looked at him And he's like Yeah they are Them purple hole peas That ain't gone to maturity yet You just picked them too fast and the guy gets all mad, and he's like, "No, these aren't purple hole peas. They're two. They're they're two different looking peas, and they came off the same bush. Or like I don't have the same like whatever." 
I got them here. He hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said he got two different types of peas from the same bush. No, yeah. That is that that yeah. literally proves that he picked it too early. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, he's, he's kind of dumb though. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, I just want your opinion on what these are. And he's like, I I got purple holes. Is what they're supposed to be. And Ricky's like, well, who dipped them out? Is it was either me or Steven? And he said he didn't recognize either one of us or something. It was like, I'm per- probably you probably didn't buy them here then. We are these faces yeah. of Long Vita Saint. <laughs> and he's like, no, I bought them here, Mister Long. Uh, you're the only person I come to proceed or whatever he's like but I don't remember he's like I know it wasn't you Mr. Long but I don't recognize this kid right here or whatever <laughs> I've been here for like six years now I'm not a kid I'm 22 I'm not, I'm not a kid anymore man come on and he was getting all mad and he just kept saying like I'm not mad I'm I'm not here trying to like belly ache. I'm just trying to figure out what these are I just want your opinion and Ricky told him his opinion like 10 times and he kept bringing it back up and kept uh, he's like well, my other opinion yeah and Ricky's like He's like, so he's like, all right, so let's go back to square one. You bought the peas from us. And he's like, yeah, but you don't remember who did it. He's like, no. And you bought purple holes. He's like, them's just uh, purple holes that haven't gone to maturity. He's like, that's my opinion. He's like, the guy's like, okay then. And he's like, and Ricky's like, okay, now what the F do you want me to do about it? <laughs> and the guy's like, I just want your opinion. He's like, that, I done gave you my opinion 25 times, buddy. And like, I was like, it's like getting heated. Like, it was just getting heated for no reason, just because the guy kept going in circles. Like, I want to I want to witness some of this Rick Long sometime. I know. And then <laughs> Ricky's like, just leave him here. I'm gonna contact the guy we get our seed from. And then that guy came by today. He's like, those are purple holes. <laughs> 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 just picked too early. So then the guy called him back. He's like, yeah, the guy came over here. He said they're purple holes. And then the guy's like, all right, well, thanks. And it's like what? Get all mad at us. Mm-hmm. People just, just don't trust nobody. Yes, yeah, the public. They suck. They do. They do. Can't trust them. Hmm. I can tell you one thing though. <laughs> what? <laughs> when we get to this entertainment section, I got some crap. Well, me too. I didn't even write them down. I think I remember some. Uh, we're going to music then next. And you can do music next. Well, what are you going to next? I just I wrote in entertainment next, but that's whatever. Oh, I thought we was do music next. Um, I don't know, John Michael. I will release another song. I'm like, okay, guy, you got to stop releasing music. Do me a favor, <laughs> right? Get out of here. <clears throat> I'm gonna get mention out it. Out of here. We don't have to put it on the playlist because I don't love it. Okay. But it's called Lock It. Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like a Casey Musgrave song. It's all right. The song that I'm going to mention that should be on the playlist, and I've been jamming to it. Okay. Social Club. Dang. Who that is? That's what Who I had to. Who that is? Dude, that song. Who that is? Fire. Dude, I wish it was song, longer. That song lit, dude. It <laughs> really is like. I was like. So good. When Marty, like, Marty's like, he's great. Yeah. And then, like, once that chorus came hit again I was like dude I just know for him about to eat this dude, beat up uh, no. he really did and then he does uh, <laughs> it's like it's so like upbeat and fast like yeah, the yeah. whole song they it's call like, it a Miami beat yeah, Miami, yeah it's a Miami beat but it's like I don't know I just don't know if I've ever heard listen to like a song from them where they're just like constantly going fast yeah yeah they always have like, they usually like, pull it back yeah yeah no yeah it really was. that's probably why it's a shorter song yeah, but yeah, it was I great. wrote that song down. But just in case you put that song too, I wrote down another song. That's kind of what uh, I did mine, but <laughs> it's called uh, "Smoke Slow" by Joshua Bassett. I'm not condoning smoking. I promise you. Yeah, we done with the podcast. So we're gonna <laughs> close this up. <laughs> it's like I'm not even gonna try and explain the song. I'm just saying it's pretty fire. All right. <laughs> what is it? S- smoke, smoke slow. Smoke slow. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's like too late. <laughs> All right. This just mean like take your time. I don't know. No, no, no. Who's it by? Joshua Bassett. He's like the main actor in the High School Musical the series, the show, <laughs> the musical, the third season, <laughs> whatever it's called. Interesting. Yeah, he's a good songwriter. Though. I like his music. Gotcha, gotcha. Entertainment. Yeah, sure. You watch anything? <clears throat> <or> no. I. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I uh. No, oh dang. I watched the pacifier because I think we talked about it. Yeah, it's fire. I love that movie. It was a great movie. So good. But I've seen it before. So the new movie I, w- I thought I was gonna watch a movie called um, Day Shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Jamie Foxx, Jamie Fox, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Dave Franco. Dave Franco's and, in it. Yeah. It look. It's I don't know. It just looks interesting. I'm not really a vampire guy, but I'm gonna watch it. So maybe I can report it next week. Yeah. Um. But I watched Eight Mile. 
Yeah, the Eminem movie. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a story. It's a movie loosely based off Eminem's true story. So as I watch it, I know it's gonna be full of f bombs and everything, and it was um, definitely a lot of foul language. But it was a very interesting and neat movie. Um, Is not Anthony Mackie in that? The Falcon. Yes, he's okay. like the bad guy. He's the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, well, like him and his gang. Yeah. Like, cause they like, um, what's it called? Rap battle. Yeah. And he's like the rap battle king. And at the very so end, does he rap? Huh? He raps in the movie. Yeah. Is he good? Yeah. I That's mean, cool. I'm sure someone wrote it for him, but yeah, he's good. There, there's a lot. Like the rap battles are pretty cool. Like Eminem's like very last one was pretty neat. It's kind of stupid, but very neat. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, cool. it was good. I liked it. It's a very interesting movie. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just started watching The Fighter. It has uh, Mark Wahlberg and uh, Christian Bale. Hmm. It's about boxing. Just started like two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. There's another movie about boxing. It's like called Southpaw, I think. Mm-hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal. I was trying to I figure out who it was because I knew it wasn't Mark Wal- uh, Wahlberg. Yeah. Yeah. I've Southpaw. Seen it, but I've heard of it. So you have Orthodox, which is right hand. And South know. Paul, left hand. I don't know. I just think I think I have the steel book for it. I've never gotten to watch it. I've heard it's a great movie. I think it's like it was a really cool it. looking steel book. I was like, it was cheap. I was like, I'm gonna buy this. Yeah. Watch this, and I just haven't yet. Hmm. All right, here we oh, go. Oh, the big entertainment by Stephen Galleon. <clears throat> you can't talk about ET. Listen. Oh, we can't. We can't talk about ET. I thought you already did. All right, then. Look like your father, man. Huh? Look like your father. I look like my father? Yeah. I don't get that very often. It's usually you look like your mother. You look like your mother. <laughs> don't... <laughs> There's the New York accent you was talking about. Yeah. I uh, don't drive watch... like my brother. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, don't drive like my brother. Oh, I love that. Did you watch I'm Groot? You didn't watch I'm Groot? It's already out? Oh, yeah. When did it come out? Wednesday. All Shut five of them. up, Savannah. I didn't know that. All, all episodes? Yeah, I'll five them. It didn't work. It's okay. It, Do me a favor, please. <laughs> Get out of here. This oh, is, you're just so Get into your entertainment. Want to talk about your entertainment? Come on, here, go talk about your entertainment. Oh, well, I'm Groot came out. Okay. And it was fun. Yeah. It was. I mean, they're funny. They're short. I'm sure it's exactly what you would think it was gonna be. Yeah, it's just goofy and it's fun. He's cute. He's a cute little thing. He's also very aggressive. He's a little yeah. It's fun. I was. I kind of wish that they would just like play him like before the Marvel movies, kind of like what Pixar does. Is that because they were they like, they really like, hyped it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be funny. Yeah, they really hyped it up, and then it's like they say they're five minutes each, but like the credits on Disney Plus are like two or three minutes, you know? Yeah. So like, even though there's five of them, like there's like literally like a total of maybe like fourteen or fifteen minutes of content because of the credits. It's just like, God. So Dang. they come, They look good though, like CGI wise. It's like at least they look good because they're short. Yeah. So I am Groot. This one I'm kind of ashamed of, and I'm not happy that I watched it. But you making that face at Savannah or me? No, you. Oh, well, you watch this show too, so it's Twitter. The boys. Bro, I, why you watch that show? Did you I finish it? I finished it. I was, I like, was no, literally gonna I'm watch gonna it today. It. Oh, you haven't finished it? No. Season three? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, it's something all right. <laughs> I didn't so, like, finish it. It's like I don't. It's got to the point where I don't hate watching it, but I don't really enjoy it either. Oh, you it's just, just kind of like, feel unclean? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I feel weird watching it. Just because, yeah. like, how much is, like, going on and, like, how, like, just violent and just, like, nasty the show is. Yeah. It's just, it's literally just the superhero aspect that keeps me tied in. And I'm tired of hearing people talk about it. I'm tired of seeing all the memes, not knowing, like, you know what, I'm just going to just kind of suck it up and watch it. Same, same. It's one of those things where, like, I'm not happy I watched it. Like, I'm not going to, it's not one thing I like to, like, you know, promote that I've watched. How many? You know, that here I am on a podcast on the world watched it. Yeah. How saying? many episodes is it? Eight. I think I'm like on three. Um. So I feel like I can continue and just finish it out. And then I'm sorry, watching season three of Never Have I Ever. You ever heard that one? It's I like a, have. It's like a teen show. You probably wouldn't like it. I'm gonna yeah, I don't think you. I would like it. That's why I never watched it. I think it's fun. <laughs> but the other ones are like they're entertainment, but they're like entertainment news. Like, did you hear they're making a Kung Fu Panda 4? Oh, for real? You said, you, you called that the other day. I called that the other day. And I was like, because like they hey, said man, they were going to... there you go. You know, I'm on, proud of you. Steven on, is almost successful in life. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, because I was like, man, because I remember telling you, I feel like they're gonna make a second season that, or maybe that's like gonna segue into the fourth movie. And that, boom, that's that's good. It Probably. happened. I was like, ah. so, <laughs> check. <laughs> then, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. And did you hear the news on Madam Web, the movie? No. Like apparently it's like a time travel movie, where like. Madame Web has like some like all these like different like spider women throughout the universe and they have to like go back in time and make sure Peter Parker's born. It's like kinda of, like the plot. Hmm. I'm like I'm that's kind of interesting actually. I don't really know <laughs> a lot of spider women Me actually. <laughs> other than Gwen. Spider Gwen. Yeah, I don't think Spider Gwen's one of them though. What? Yeah, I don't know. Well, but what's the that? Cast is, the like, Chinese Dakota Johnson. Girl, or whatever her name is. What are you talking about? Uh, from Spider Verse? Yeah. With the robot? No, she's not one of them either. Hmm. I don't really know which ones it is. But I just know that the girl like Dora is one of them. <laughs> in that Dora the Explorer movie. Yeah. Interesting. And then, yeah. And then my last thing, this is my last one, is you remember we started the podcast, I'm pretty sure we started the podcast off talking about Ezra Miller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I guess you heard the news recently. Was it last week? That fool, <laughs> that fool got like, arrested again or convicted again. For like stealing liquor from a gas station or something. Does he not have money? <laughs> Apparently he was he's like hiding on the run from the cops. Not he, they. My bad. Bro. <laughs> uh, Ezra. I'll just keep saying Ezra. Ezra was running from the cops and apparently he was like had a gun on him, like he was armed. Just like roaming the country, going state to state. And like apparently Warner Brothers came out and said they have three options about the flash. They're either gonna totally can it like they did Batgirl. Or sent him to rehab, or sent Ezra to rehab, and like try and get them to like I don't know, be better, and then have him promote the movie. Or then the the third option was like release it in theaters and just like don't have Ezra go on like any promotion for the movie at all, like keep him out of all the promotional stuff. <laughs> it's his movie. There, <laughs> this is so hard. Just, Bro. I'm just gonna say his. I don't really care. Honestly, <laughs> so if they want to cancel us. That's their problem. You know, if you don't like. If you don't like us, you don't like what we say. Just don't listen to us. Our 13 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, no, they just. I'm trying. They just need to can it or put a different or completely make it with a whole new actor or something. If he's gonna be getting in trouble this much, man, why even use him? The only thing he's that not that great really of an actor. Sucks. The thing that sucks to me is that Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton came back for the yeah. movie so like, I don't want it to get canned it's like I want to see them as Batman again yeah and then like that would be two strikes for Michael Keaton because he was in Batgirl oh yeah so like if this got cancelled dude and then he was in Morbius so. and then yeah and the last <laughs> thing he was in for Marvel was Morbius dude that boy was, he's gonna quit superhero stuff <laughs> so hey. yeah I'm done <laughs> um heck no heck no man What's your? What do we learn today? I can tell you one thing. Do you walk into a place mm. complaining, mm. saying you're not complaining while complaining? Heck no. Nah. Do you ask for an opinion and get mad about the opinion? <laughs> Heck no. <nah. laughs> oh man. Do you, do you assume that because someone's younger than you, they don't drink coffee? Heck no. Nah. That's just rude, lady. That's yeah. just rude. Isn't it the worst when they're like, yeah, something about a VHS? And they're like, something like, y'all don't even know what a VHS is. is that how I'm like, old, how I'm, actually, I'm actually young enough or old enough to know what that is, actually. Yeah. I had one. It's like, lady, I played the GameCube. All right. Get off Nintendo me. 64. <laughs> yeah, the Game it. Boy. She's like, I don't even know what that... Th- technology. Yeah. So. Um, do... Any more heck noise? Do you get a tattoo of your best friend in animation on your on your arm? No, no, it's a heck no, it's a heck no, bro. Heck no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Do you judge people for getting tattoos? Heck no. There, there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Um, educational. Yeah, I don't have any other heck no's. Apology mm-hmm. and take backs. Uh, reflect and deflect. I reflect and deflect. I reflect and deflect on. My apology and take back phrase I just said. Also reflect and deflect 
on the fact that I'm pretty sure every episode at the end of the podcast we not gonna touch, but last week we did not. We did not. That's true. So, sorry. I'm trying to remember today. Yeah. Come on, reflect. You want me reflect. to reflect? You want me to reflect? On yeah, something? man. Reflect a little. <laughs> reflect. All right. All right. Um, let me let me see you reflect. Let me think. You want to see me reflect, bro? <sighs> let me think. What do I need to reflect on? I'm sure I said something. Let me look at these notes here. Um, I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll reflect. I'll reflect on, on calling Ezra a him, I guess. <laughs> I, was, I was doing pretty good. I was oh, trying. I was really trying. It's just natural, bro. It is natural. Bro, exactly. bro is a gender neutral term nowadays, so I should just be calling him bro. Yeah, I was like, I, I would even call her buddy bro anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I apologize for... The uh, Jesse's friends um, just being so loud. So loud. Oh wow. Just uncalled for. It so, really is. But yeah. We're trying to train them. We're trying to train yeah. them. Yeah, trying. We're trying. So, but yeah, other than that, week 17, correcto? Correcto. All right. This has been Gonzalez. Galleon. Out. Out.